Hello everybody. Um today we are going to be doing a another redstone door. It's a secret one though, so it's going to be way cooler. So you're going to have to dig out um 6 by 8 and then you have to dig down 8. So it's going to be 6 going this way, 8 going that way and then you have to dig down 8. But for the ease of you guys to see, I'm just going to build it in the air. So you're going to need obsidian a chest, or a barrel, whichever one you want to do, a comparator, a repeater, redstone dust, block of redstone, redstone torch, a minecart with a hopper in it, rails, any kind of rail, and you're also going to need pistons, sticky pistons, I mean. A slime block and a block of your choice. So, after you have your space digging out, get your obsidian, your repeaters, redstone, um, sticky pistons, slime blocks. Oh, you're also gonna need hoppers. I'm sorry about that. We could save that for later though, and we'll get this the block of redstone and the redstone torch. So, you're gonna start off play placing one obsidian block and then you're going to bring it up by one diagonally on each and make sure to break that block. Now going into this obsidian block you're going to place a repeater on four ticks and then you're going to place redstone right there. Now for your pistons you're going to have to come up to on this obsidian right here next that's going in that repeater is going into the obsidian block, and you have to place one of those. Then bring it up one more time, or actually bring it up two more times, going in a spiral. Nope. So that's what it should look like right now. Then what you're going to do is put um, a 2x2 two two slime blocks going over the pistons. Then go to your obsidian again. And place one obsidian on this sticky piston, then bring it over two from the bottom, and bring it up one more. Diagonally. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to place, um, I'll let you finish that. Now you're going to want to put a repeater going into this obsidian block that's next to the sticky piston on four ticks delay. And then put a redstone right there, a redstone dust. You're going to put one obsidian on this sticky piston. You're going to bring it over two from the bottom. And one on top of that, going diagonal. Now get your redstone repeater out. Put one right here on four ticks delay. Then you want to put one obsidian on top of it next to this um, sticky piston right here. You want to get your blocks of choice and bring it one out. You won't be able to see it. Then you want to get your redstone dust and you want to put them two right there. Now get your blocks of choice and bring it out two, delete that block, up one, and delete that one with a redstone torch on that one. All of the repeaters, or all of the, um, everything should be on, so everything should activate, and it should be, if this was it right here, these would be the slime blocks right here. That's how it should be. One away from your layer, top layer, so you can put your blocks of choice on that. So the next thing you want to do is you want to bring down a block right here diagonally with the repeater going onto it on one tick delay. And that's off the one with the redstone torch. You want to bring this up, a block off of that twice. So it should be in line with your slime blocks. Now you're going to bring your blocks of choice out three times. One, two, three. And you want to delete those blocks and bring it, put a sticky piston right there with a block of redstone on that. 
Now you want to get your obsidian, come over here to the second one that's up, and place three obsidian going off there like that. And one block of choice right there with your chest and your comparator. You can get rid of these blocks right here. And you want to take out your mining cart, your hopper, and your rails. So next thing you want to do is put a comparator right there with a chest. And then you want to put an item in it. It doesn't matter what item. Just put any item in it. And then you want to put a hopper. So you want to sneak and then go up one. Then go one going backwards like that. Backwards from the chest. And then off of this one that's going backwards from the chest, you want to place in three hoppers going away from the chest. Does that work? Oh, it does. You want to place one block that you can't, that you won't be able to see right there. So it's like that. You want to get rail, a rail and put it right there on the last hopper in that row with a minecart with the hopper. So that should be it. Let me just clear my inventory. So if we take the item out, that'll go completely up. And let's say we just wanna, here, we'll do this. We'll make a little thing going around it. So this will be your top layer of the floor. Just make sure you have something indicating where your block is. So let me just build a little tiny thing. And as you can see, it's completely flush with the floor. So if we just cover up this one, place that like that. And if you put this in like a forest, just like this, all you have to do is just throw a block or throw anything at this tree on this side. And then come stand over here. And you'll go down into your base. Now to clear it up, to make sure you can't see any of this from the underground, you just want to bring obsidian up like that. And up like this one more time with it going up and over three so it matches with the chest and that's pretty much it so now we take the item out of the chest it'll bring us up like an elevator and you could see if you're in a regular world you won't be able to see any of this and it won't it'll be completely secret but if you throw a block right there, come stand over here, come inside, and take the block out. You'll be able to see all this, but don't worry about that. The real thing is that people can't see your base from the top, so if you want to hide this from your friends or anything like that, make sure to do this. Oh, I almost forgot, place one obsidian right there. And just like that. So that is the un um, undetectable base. Of course, unless they're mining around and stuff. But make sure you have something indicating where this block is underneath the minecart with the hopper. So as you can see, it's completely seamless. You can't even see it unless you're digging around. Like, oh go cave and like what is this so people won't be able to notice it unless they dig around which is completely hidden how many times i'm going to say that am i right so you can make your base coming out this way and then out and around just make sure you keep it within this area To where you can't break any of the redstone. Because what I personally like to do is I like to make rooms with that are underwater. So you would have to bring this out and put like um, a piston door here. 
and then it'll be filled with water, you know. Make sure you can't break the redstone, though. So that is my, um, my hidden secret redstone door for hiding it from your friends and all that. Make sure you use this wisely, because um, if people have seen this video, they will know. They'll be like, where did you go? Yeah. So, go hit the subscribe button and the like button, and I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.